it's Judy at Premier by Judy. We are not live today. We have had some technical difficulties with my new phone, and unfortunately, you can't unnew a phone. So we're working on that, but I still want to make sure I'm giving you good, valuable content on this page. I thank you for all my loyal watchers. And this is Premier by Judy Live and Premier by Judy VIP group. And this is Friday Fashion Fun. And wow, are we going to have fun this week. Now, if you've been watching over the last weeks, I have been giving you some tips on your basic clothing wardrobe and your basic jewelry wardrobe. And what we're going to do today is talk on how to work those together. Ladies, we know that you are very busy. It is um, very few of us who are able to take care of only ourselves in the morning, that we're not checking in with our parents, with our kids, packing somebody's lunch, feeding a dog, um, and we always put ourselves last. So I want to give you a chance that even if you only have a little bit of time, that you can have a wonderful put together look that makes you feel confident and current and sassy every day. Because ladies, when we look better, we feel better, right? So we're going to talk about some of the wardrobe basics and what to do when you're working with neutrals. We the first ingredient of every basic wardrobe is a white button down shirt. If you've not seen that video, go back and review. But everybody needs a nice white button down shirt and do make sure that you've got one that's tailored, that's got some darts or some princess seaming. So it follows and flows over your curves. You don't want it too tight because then everybody knows it's too tight. You never look slimmer squeezing into a smaller size, okay? So don't wear it too tight, but don't wear it too baggy. If you wear things with a lot of volume, it's gonna make you look even bigger than you are. So something that just gently skims across and then use seaming to accent your curves. So there's Tiffany, of course, she's just down near perfect, but um, she's got on a nice white blouse, which is a basic neutral. What are neutrals? Neutrals are your colors, colors you would see like in a black and white movie. Black, white, gray, beige, brown. Those are all neutral colors, and that's kind of a wonderful background to start with in your mixing and matching in your wardrobe. So Stephanie's starting with her white blouse, and she's going to start with a casual look, so she's going to layer this with a denim jacket. Denim is a really big trend this year. Um, you can actually layer denim on denim now, and Janet Reed's going to be with us in a couple weeks to show us how to do that, and especially for the fall. But today we're going to do denim jacket with the white blouse. Denim, again, because it's a blue, it's a neutral. So you can wear denim with anything. You can dress it up, dress it down. We are going to start with this background and go um, introduce some of the trends for this fall. I know ladies, you do not have the time to go and look up and research. That's my job to do the research for you. And with uh, help from other premier jewelers, I've gotten the current trends so that you can get it right here in one lesson. Remember, trends are what the designer houses say is in, but style is how you take the trends that fit your personality and your look and you make them your own personal style. Style is how you decide which trends you're going to wear and how you're going to wear them. So we're going to start with the very first trend, which is called the naturals looks. And natural structure is the name of it. And natural, what does that mean? Natural materials, suede, beads, stones, things like that. But you can do that with color because there's wonderful colors in nature. This is a piece I've loved for years and it's called chambray. Chambray is of course a kind of denim. So this is gonna be a great look with denim, but with the this kind of faux leather strap here, it also can look very natural, very casual. Look at that, look at Stephanie. Doesn't she look cute in that? And of course, if you don't wanna wear it that long, this is a nice big piece, you can always double it. And if you wanted, you could add a second piece. Now, when you're wearing one piece with color, you want your next piece maybe to be more simple. So you can go with this piece. This is one of our new pieces. It is called New Seasons. I love this because it's got a really interesting chain. You see it's got these kind of chunky beads here in the middle. It's also a reversible enhancer. So on this side, it's more detailed. You've got... Um, different sections and stones. The other side is a little more simple. So you take whichever side you like, put it there, and you can see 
that framed by chambray, it's very striking. When you put one necklace around another, it's like putting frame around a picture. It brings your attention to it. And just to show you, I'll take it away and it loses a lot when you lose that frame. And also this being a silver being a neutral, metal colors are neutral. Um, it's not just going to stand out much when you have two other neutrals. So if you're going to so do you want to add some color? There is chambray and new seasons. And ladies, to have that put together look, which I want you to have every day, you just need to have three pieces on. Now, two necklaces together, actually, because it's kind of a, a set, um, that would really count as one item. But you might want to add a quick set of bracelets. Ladies, we have so many sets of bangles. And wearing stuff all the way up your arm is the big trend this year. So grab yourself some bangles. Grab some cute earrings. Boom, you are ready to go out the door with your natural look. Again, this is natural structure, so it's about the colors. It's also about the textures. We've got these in-the-loop earrings that have a lot of interest and texture to them. Sorry, I'm pointing them out to the microphone. Um, we've got texture in the bracelets. Now, ladies, as we pointed out before, if you have a round face, Round earrings are just going to make you look more round. It keeps the attention going this way. So if you don't want to look too round, you want to get something that hangs down that's a little longer. These are the sky earrings. But again, they've got the texture. They've got the silver. So you've got the elongated look, and that's one way to wear the natural look with your casual outfit. Some other pieces that work well. If you want to add a little more color, but maybe not so deep. This is Del Monte. It's a cute necklace and it's got just a touch of color, a little of the butterscotch, a little bit of turquoise. So this is a good way to add color up near your face. It does have matching earrings. So you can add a little bit of color or a lot. These are the Del Monte earrings, and again, they're longer than they are wide, so they're going to be flattering for most face shapes unless you have a very, very long face. Um, so that's another way to do the natural. Another fun way to add color is with the, hold on, Desert Diva. This is a wrap bracelet, but it actually makes a cute choker. You can also wear it. Oh, for a sassy little headband. That's another place you can add color. So you can take the Desert Diva wrap bracelet, necklace, however you want to wear it, and this is another way to add color. And you can see turquoise looks very good with the denim. And if you want to continue the trend, you can add it with your watch. This is the quick change watch, and ladies, it's a wonderful way to add a little bit of color, or if you want to tone it down, it actually has a reversible strap right here so you can change that out um, watches are still good to wear I know you can look at your phone to find out what time it is but a watch you don't have to reach in your pocket take your attention away from the person you're talking to to dig through your purse try to find that just whoops and you know if you're checking in church you can just go like this and and see how much longer you have to sit okay not that I've ever done that so add some color with your natural textures your natural tones to have that natural structure trend. All right, now our next trend is prairie chic. What is prairie chic? The colors of the Old West. Think turquoise, think copper, think Presley. All right, this is one of the new pieces, one of my favorites. I am layering it here with willow. Willow picks is a great piece. If you don't have anything else for layering, grab willow. It's a long piece, so it's slenderizing. It's got gold brass tone. It's got silver. It's got the rose gold. There's a, just a tiny bit of turquoise, just enough color to give you a little pop, but it's a great piece for layering. We're going to use it with just about everything today. Presley is the rose gold and turquoise. Very striking combination, and it is one of our versatile pieces in that you can actually remove the turquoise strand. Just wear the copper. And look at that. You're still, even though copper, the, the this is rose gold, sorry. But it is a neutral um, because it's a matter color, but it is so bright. It is going to keep the attention up. 
And again, you can add this turquoise or you can just add willow. You've got a gorgeous set here. It does have the matching three bracelet set. The easiest way to look to put together, buy the necklace, the bracelet, the earrings, buy them that all go together. When you get up in the morning, you grab that set, put on your neutral background, grab your set of jewelry, and go out the door feeling confident all day. If you want to change it up a little bit, you don't want to go matchy-matchy, you could go with the rosy bracelets. This is a five bangle set. If you want a bigger, longer earring, you could go with the Julia. But again, all the rose gold, everything goes together. And if you need that watch, nothing says it like the Rose Factor watch. So look at that. Wonderful bit of color against that neutral background. And she is going to look put together all day long, even if she only spent two minutes. I mean, what does it take? Grab a blouse. Grab a jacket, put on your neutral pants, and then grab a set of jewelry. And you are out the door looking like you spent half the day picking out your wardrobe. So that's what I want you to look like, ladies, like you spent more time than you really did. So that's our prairie look. Um, again, the natural tones. Another trend that we have is mid-century modern. Mid-century, if you study furniture, things like that, mid-century is things from the 50s and 60s. It's a huge trend now. People are wanting arts and crafts houses. They're going back to the mid-century furniture, and the muscle cars of the 60s are the big hot thing right now. So mid-century is accented by what we then called modernistic shapes, like this beautiful piece, which is state-of-the-art. Now, this is black and silver, which is actually a neutral color, but against... This white blouse, wow, does that stand out. And hematite is a big, big trend. Um, it's not going anywhere soon. So you can wear that. I like to put it with the in the swing earrings. There's actually um, other earrings in the catalog that match this. If you're going in the catalog, look on page 74. Um, in the swing earrings, again, a set of stacking bracelets. If you want to add some color, Take a couple of your black bracelets, a couple of your silver bracelets. Put them together. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So you can go with that. Um, if you want to add a little more black, there's our It's a Wrap. Boy, has this been a favorite for a long time. This is a piece that will go and mix in with just about any style. It's a dark gray faux leather with black and white beads. You can wear it as a bracelet, an anklet or you can wear it as a necklace or a choker. Lots of things, and oh yeah, a cute little headband. So wouldn't that be a wonderful way to top off your look? Put a headband in that carries through the theme of all your jewelry. So again, even though these are black pieces, they do follow the current trend state of the art, and because they are dark, even though it's a basic color, it does provide a contrast. So you can wear the black there. Um, another way, if you want to do a neutral jewelry, a neutral necklace, this is nice threads. So many people love this. It is a bestseller at one of my shows this weekend. And this is really fun because it's so substantial. You don't need the color. It's got a lot of weight to it, but sometimes you want to fill that area in. So you might go back to the Seasons necklace. Look at that. What a difference when we fill it in. Again, look at the difference in impact that you're gonna make when you put two necklaces together. Is that not amazing? So that's one way to wear the mid-century. Again, big, bold structure. Uh, another huge trend in the mid-century time frame was the pop art, and that is the name of this beautiful necklace. And doesn't it look like one of those, remember all the pop art pictures and statues and things? So it's got a lot of color to it. It does have matching earrings, or if you wanted to, you could go for this globe trotter. Look at all those hoops. Doesn't that look 50s to you? This is one of our clip Poe earrings. You can wear it if you have pierced ears, um, or the post is actually um, can be pushed down. So if you need clip earrings, this will work for those of you that cannot wear um, pierced earrings. So this is pop art, and look at all the color it puts on there. Sorry, she's a little twisty. Uh, so that's our mid-century modern. If this isn't bold enough for you, 
or you'll want some more color. This is another fun pop art piece. And this is, I don't know what it's called. This is called paper. So this one, this will be my necklace of the week coming up. Piper is a beautiful piece. It's got the removable enhancer. And I'm telling you, doesn't that look like something right out of the 60s? You can move that up a little bit so you change the center of focus. It's got a lot of color. It's got removable strands. It's got changeable strands. You can put the short one over so it's shorter, move things around. And again, that's going to work great with the Globe Trotter earrings, with the Staxational bracelets. And Piper actually has matching pieces too if you want to check out. It's in the catalog. So mid-century modern, another fun trend for the fall. Pick, mix and match, have two or three pieces and you are ready to go. Now, if we want to dress up a little bit, you can always change out to a black blazer. All right, Stephanie doesn't always cooperate. Again, black is a neutral. This is a nice fitted pinstripe. I like the three-quarter sleeves because wearing the sleeves makes your arms look longer, makes you look taller, makes you look slimmer. Plus, I like to show off my jewelry. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we go. We've got a nice black neutral, and we're going to go with a couple other trends. The first one is color remix. Deep, rich colors are a big trend for this fall. My favorite way to do that is right here with Here Comes the Sun. I love all the colors in here. Very deep colors of blue, burgundy, gold. A lot going on. Hold on here. Okay. And this does have removable strands. So, again, this would actually work fine with the denim or with the black. You wear the black if you want to, um, sometimes you want to simplify for more formal things, kind of less is more thing. So you might take one strand off. So then you're just working with a three strand and you can just change the strands out so you can get it to fall just where it's comfortable for your body structure, your bones, your curves. So. Because it's got the black, it plays up on the dressy. Um, it does have the matching stretch bracelet, which is a lot of fun. Or I love to match it with, and this is the Dallas bracelet. Um, so Dallas, and here comes the sun. Dallas kind of picks up the blue. This is also wonderful for mixing with your naturals and your neutral colors. Um, if you are not into the deep colors, but you want to dress up with some color, you could go with something like this. And this is, sorry, this is Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush is one of our make your own necklace kits is what I like to call it, build a necklace kit. It has many removable pieces. An easy way to get a great look is take off this one with the little stations with all the pastel jewels and just wrap that around your wrist. Boom. And you've got a bracelet that matches. You also can remove the little hammered strand. You want to have just the pastels, but doesn't that look cute? It sets off the black. Um, these are kind of subdued pastels, so they're fine for wearing for the next couple of months. Um, they're not so, so light. They're a little more dusky pastels. And then we've got the matching sorbet earrings which pick up perfectly on those colors. So if you want to keep the color going, you're not wanting the deep colors, then go with Sugar Rush and Sorbet, and you're still adding some color. And our final trend, which really um, is a good one to dress up, is the Stately Blooms, and it is flowers with an attitude. So you might want to start with Peachy Keen Necklace. This is a really fun piece. It is in a coral, and coral is one of the universally flattering colors, along with turquoise that we showed you today. 
and this, if you can see, there's a little bit of sparkle in every one of these flowers. So you can dress it up a little bit if you want to wear it for the daytime. You could go with a big impact earring like Sabrina or something simple like Let It Shine. You can add, uh oh, sorry about that. You can add the Band of Gold bracelet set another set of bangles, and then if you want to dress it up for evening, you could go with the Zoe, great, Zoe earrings, which also pick up on the sparkle. Um, the Bands of Gold also has the sparkle in it, so you could be ready for evening. And a cute feature of this necklace is that the large flower, your bloom, is removable. This um, actually has a pin attachment on the back, so you could move it to your lapel and see how it looks a little bit more formal. If you're wearing an evening scarf, this is a great way to fasten your scarf, or a really fun thing to do is pin this carefully to your bag. If you have a little black cutch or a little black purse, you add a little bit of bling to it, and boom, you've got an evening bag. So Peachy King is another is um, part of the stately blooms trend which is working with the flowers getting the flowers in there and another trend uh, flower piece these are called full bloom it's turquoise and gold and wow is that a statement combination so if you've got your flowers going if you wanted to continue those colors you could go with belize belize is one of our multi-strand multi-option necklaces it has two turquoise strands. Aren't those beautiful? And then it also has three gold strands. So it's a five strand necklace. Sorry about that, folks. Okay. It's a five strand necklace. You can wear all the pieces together. Um, the more that you have, the dressier you look. It does have the Aurora Borealis crystals, which Premier Designs has developed as a way to reflect even more light without adding crystals to it. And then if you wanted to fill out your look, the Bands of Gold is great because it, it picks up on the turquoise or the matching Belize necklace or hey, layer in both on one arm or a gold watch on the other, you are ready to go. So there is your Stately Blooms look. That's the last of the big trends for the year. Look how it all works with a neutral, with a black jacket and a white blouse and another neutral that everybody should have is that little black dress. So we are just going to show you a couple of these real quickly, how they can work with a little black dress for day or night. Okay, Stephanie is a good quick change artist. Um, we're going to work ourselves backwards. So look how that looks with the Belize. Isn't that beautiful? Sorry, she's a little twisted. Okay, you're going to get the idea on that. Sorry, I'm not putting them back carefully. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so there's Belize with the little black dress. You can go with the big color of Here Comes the Sun with the little black dress. I need to put these back more carefully, that's for sure. Okay, there we go. Here comes the sun with a little black dress. And again, if it's not hanging at the right place, grab another strand, make it fit. Here comes the sun with a little black dress. Bold color statement pieces. Presley with the little black dress. Prairie look. Again, with the simple cut of the dress, you can cover any style. So here's your prairie look in Presley with the little black dress. Here's your mid-century modern with a little black dress. Wow, doesn't she look powerful? And again, if you want to fill in some of that space at the top, add the seasons necklace. So there is your trends. Um, again, last one is natural, natural look.
plain and simple. See how that simple, basic neutral dress was transformed to so many looks just by changing out the style of jewelry. So if you have the right basic wardrobe and you have the jewelry that fits your style, your personality, what you want to say about yourself, any day will do. And you can grab that neutral background, grab some colorful jewelry, and you are off for the day, looking put together, trendy, and in little to no time at all. So ladies, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've learned something that you can apply. If you need some help, call me. I'll go through your closet, go through your jewelry box. We can do it in person or um, over the wonder of modern technology. But I want to make sure that you have the basic building blocks. So when you get up in the morning, even if you don't have the time for yourself, you're going to look put together every day. And we have a fabulous special for everyone. So go to my Premier by Judy um, closed group. There's going to be a link below here. You can go and join that group and see my customer only specials that I have every week. So go there for the, for the special to get yourself some jewelry. And ladies, if the special is not within your reach this week, let's find a way to get you some free jewelry. I gave away $1,000 in jewelry just last week. Isn't that great? That is fantastic. I love blessing my hostesses with lots of free jewelry, and I would love to bless you. If you're in town, let's do a jewelry show for you and your girlfriends. I can give them some great tips so that they can all feel fabulous and put together every day. If you're from out of town, let's get together a catalog show so you get some free jewelry with, uh, you don't even have to clean your house or serve snacks. So, I'd love to give you some free jewelry or give you my special. Just go over to my private group, Premier by Judy, and ask to join. I'll get you on there right away. And you have a fabulous Friday, a wonderful holiday, and we will see you again. Bye-bye.